going to solve a problem on how to obtain the state space representation of a system whose transfer function is given to us. So let's take a problem. So our problem is to determine the state equations of the system whose transfer function is gs equals to 100 upon s, s square plus 0.1 s plus 10. So let's solve this problem. We know that the transfer function, it is the ratio of the Laplace transform of the output and the input. So we can write gs is equals to ys upon us and it is equal to 100 upon s, s square plus 0.1 s plus 10. Now if we cross multiply this, we will get ys multiplied with multiply this s inside so we will get s cube plus 0.1 s square plus 10 s equals to 100 us now taking inverse laplace transform of this equation we will get the laplace transform of s cube will become if we write its representation it will be y triple dot because the power of s is cube so it will become dy by dt so it will be uh, d3y by dt cube so it will be y triple dot plus 0.1 y double dot because it is having square then plus y dot equals to 100 u so this becomes the differential equation of the system. Now to obtain the state space representation, we have to choose the state variables. So we will choose our first state variable as y. So let the first state variable x1 is y. So x1 dot will be our second state variable and it will be y dot x2 dot will be our third state variable and it will be y double dot x3 dot means it is y triple dot and the value of y triple dot from this equation if we calculate y triple dot all the other variables they will be go they will go to the right hand side so it will be minus 0.1 y double dot minus 10 y dot plus 100 u so y triple dot is what x3 dot so we will put its value here Now to obtain the state space representation, we have the three state variables and their derivatives also. So from these three equations, we will obtain the state equation. So state equation will be x1 dot, x2 dot and x3 dot combined. Okay. So let's form this matrix. We have x1 dot, x2 dot and x3 dot. Now x1 dot is what? It is x2. So we will write here 0, 1 and it is 0. Because x1 is missing, x2 is its coefficient is 1 and x3 is missing. So here 0 and u is also missing. So here also we will put 0. Now x2 dot, x2 dot is x3. So x3 coefficient will be 1 and rest of them will be 0. 
इक्वेशन फॉर एक्स थ्री डॉट इज माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन वाई डबल डॉट वाई डबल डॉट इज वॉट एक्स टू डॉट और वी कैन से इट इज एक्स थ्री सो वी विल राइट हेयर माइनस जीरो पॉइंट वन एक्स थ्री माइनस वाई डॉट वाई डॉट इज वॉट एक्स टू सो वी कैन राइट हेयर एक्स टू प्लस हंड्रेड यू सो द कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स वन इज मिसिंग वी विल पुट जीरो हेयर कोफिशियंट ऑफ एक्स टू इज माइनस टेन coefficient of x3 is minus 0.1 and coefficient of u is 100 so we have obtained the state equation now we have supposed here that our first state variable is x uh, is y so y is equals to x1 so from here the output equation it will become only x1 is present so its coefficient will be 1 and rest of them will be 0 so this is our state equation and this is our output equation and these two equations state equation and the output equation they are combinedly known as the state space equations or we can say that it is the state space representation of the system or it is the state model of the system so in this way we can find out the state space representation of a system whose transfer function is given to us so i hope this problem is clear to you thank you